Nine, five, six, Mike, five, zero. <laughs> These are mine. These are mine. These babies are mine. See the hat? Oh, the beanie. My mom got this for me. Oh, that's the one? Yeah. Hashtag, I love my mom with all my heart. I love you too. White caramel mocha. Or do they have that one drink that you drink? Which one drink did I drink? I don't know, the, the, the one that's warm. You can get a white hot chocolate. The white hot chocolate be good, but I'm here to get. Oh look, they got a peppermint mocha. Uh, ice gingerbread oatmeal chocolate. Oh, Ooh, that sounds good. Get the caramel brulee latte. You'll like that one. Caramel brulee. Yeah. Hey, you see right there? Cheese and Starbucks. I can get Starbucks for you today. Can I get a caramel brulee latte? What size on that? Um, small. A small. A small size, okay. And then can I get the iced gingerbread oatmeal chai? The, the the what? The iced. The iced. Gingerbread. Gingerbread. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Milk. Milk. Chai. Oatmeal chai. chai. <laughs> okay. And what size do you want to do that one? Oh, that ice brown sugar oatmeal shaking espresso sound good. What size, man? A small. A small. A small. And okay. And can we get a fifteen dollar gift card? And a fifteen dollar gift card. Um, I've got a couple choices left, but not many. So when you get to the window, we'll let you pick, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay, we'll see you at the window. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. It's not every day that you see J Trey driving. 11.45. Did she get the $15 gift card? Excuse me? Did you get the, the $15 card? Oh. You need that gift card. It's for somebody for Christmas. They like Starbucks. Is this okay? Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Right, I got you. Uh, it's a 15, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got you. See the hat? Oh, the beanie. My mom got this for me. Oh, that's the one? Yeah. Hashtag, I love my mom with all my heart. I love you too. <laughs> yes. So this is mine. And that's yours. It's kind of warm. It's supposed to be. So Jaden got a caramel brulee latte. Latte. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be good. Has <laughs> mirto. This is a Starbucks gift card. It was so last minute. Luckily and thankfully, Starbucks was open, and so we decided to get a gift card. And then I also got some pajama jams. And this gift is going to be for Julian's girlfriend. So I hope she likes it. I don't think you can go wrong with a Starbucks gift card. What you think, Jay? Yeah. yeah, Starbucks is where it's at. I don't like Starbucks though. I don't really like it. I prefer the morning drink. This, so this is my first time actually drinking Starbucks. I don't I've never had Starbucks. What you think about it? It's mid. It's all right. It's mid. Okay. But yeah, I feel like you can't go wrong with a Starbucks gift card. I don't like Starbucks like that. I prefer the morning jump. So if you are in the Fayetteville, Fort Bragg, AKA Fort Liberty area, go to the morning jump, the morning jump. But Starbucks is the only thing that's open right now on Christmas day. So we came out to get a gift card and we decided to get some coffee. Yeah.
Hey y'all, so if you watched my last video, I was basically saying that I wanted to go to the post office and drop off some items for my friends for Christmas, but I needed boxes. I needed to fill out the to and from address and it was just a lot going on. And so since I am going to South Carolina, I am going to be dropping their gifts, gifts off. And so I didn't know if I was going to go because I know on my last video, I said I had to pay $3,500 to get my vehicle repairs fixed, but altogether it was $27. And so me and my husband um, decided to go ahead and go to South Carolina. And so I wanted to show you all some of the things that I got my, my friends for Christmas. And so I got the wallflower. I got the candle from Bath and Body Works. It was on sale. I got the car scents and some hand sanitizer. And I know y'all are probably looking like, why is everything elliptic? E elliptic? E e I don't know how to say it. Y'all know I'm from South Carolina, but this is the scent that she wants. This is for Jasmine. And so everything that I seen that was Ulicus or however you say it in Bath and Body Works, I decided to get. And then I also got her a jewelry mirror, like a standing jewelry box, which I will link down below if y'all are interested in purchasing it. I got it from Amazon. And then I will show y'all a picture right here. So just in case you want to get it, um, you can get it as well. I also got this face cover from Shein and then I got her a card that I need to fill out as well and so I'm going to do that and for my friend Shayna I got her a card I got her some cozy socks from Old Navy I also got her the sleep mask or whatever from Shein I got her a coin well not really I got her but I have some coins I had purchased from when I was in Watts and she has been there for me through thick and thin from day one since you know we was five years old so basically pre K, kindergarten all the way up until now so we have been friends for over 30 years and so I decided to get her this because she has been supporting me throughout my journey and my career I got her this I thought this would be really really cute because she just got a brand new car and I'm like okay girl let's go ahead and get you very bougie um, in your new vehicle and of course this goes with it it is a car fragrance refill called champagne toast I also got her some champagne toast hand sanitizer and I got her some Marc Jacobs in the scent of perfect from Sephora's now these little small travel size bottles are 35 bucks um but I thought it was really cute because she likes to travel we like to go on trips and stuff together so I thought that was cute and so y'all let me know how I did on my gifts um for my friends my other home girl her name is Angel I got her a Tefar wallet which it still has not came it's supposed to be here today but I won't be here so hopefully when I come back tonight it'll be on the front porch uh and Jaden to get it he has to work today from what 9 to 10 p.m and then I got this for my mom so I got her some Bath and Body Works lotion I also got her some fuzzy socks I got her a pajama set from Fashion Nova and um I got her a card and I got my nephew and her boyfriend some cozy socks as well and I think I'm going to get my nephew like a gift card from GameStop or something like that but as far as like the gifts or whatever Instead of me having to go to the post office, I'm just going to like bag them up in these little like gift bags. Um, also, I got my homegirl Angel a birthday gift because her birthday is in January. And so I got her a birthday charm. And then I have some like more things in here, which I don't want to go over because it's like not decluttered. And so this is how I went to the post office, y'all. I was looking a hot mess. But overall, this is everything that I got for my friends. Let me know how I did. Again, for Jasmine, I got her the standing jewelry box with the Bath and Body Works candle, um, the sleep mask thing, the wallflower, the car scent, the hand sanitizer. And that jewelry box was like $170 plus tax, and the shipping was not free. And so I spent over $200 on that um, jewelry box, and then this was on sale, which candles at Bath and Body Works don't really, really be on sale. It was still like 15 bucks for a candle. Um, and then the little small, you know, small miniature items. And then for Shayna, the Marc Jacobs was 35. My coin I purchased, um, the hand sanitizer, the car fragrance, uh, card, some cozy socks and all of that. And then for my mom, I got her some stuff. And then, like I said, for my homegirl, Angel, I got her this Pandora charm for her birthday. Her birthday is in January. And I got Angel also some fuzzy socks as well. I'm going to give her a coin because she has supported me throughout my career and my journey. She's also Phoenix Godmom. And then I got her some wallflowers as well. And so I feel like, um, and don't forget, let's not forget the Tefar wallet that I got her. So for Christmas, I went all out 
on everybody's gifts. And this is what we currently have under the tree. I can't remember what's in each bag, but for the most part, Jaden got everything that he asked for. This big box right here is my husband Camaro lights. That was 400 and something dollars, y'all. So I got that for him. He wanted a Yeti and he wanted some Crocs. And so I got him that. This box right here is my Teflon purse. My homegirl Angel got me that. I did not wrap it yet. I plan on wrapping it, but I already know what it is. Um, the kids, grandma got them some cards and I'm pretty sure it has like money in in them. And this is how our Christmas tree turned out. I feel like I showed this on my last video or a video before that. And so, um, this is pretty much how our Christmas is going. We still have more gifts to put under the tree. My husband is actually at Best Buy right now. I think he's getting me a new lens for my camera and I cannot wait to use it because Christmas is in two days. And so if y'all like what y'all see, because I was like on a cleaning spree this morning, then you know, go ahead and like this video and please don't forget to subscribe and this ring light i use this ring light for everything y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning packing everything up so when they get back we'll be ready to go and we're gonna head to south carolina and i will continue with this vlog when i say i am comfortable y'all i am comfortable first of all merry christmas second of all i am comfortable like i have on a hoodie i have on a scarf and I have on some sweats with my slides because I am in the house chilling, trying to catch up on some rest because today was Christmas. Unwrapped the gifts and cleaned. We finished cooking. And so after I finish recording this video, we will go eat and then we will go look at some Christmas lights. But before we get started, I like to make sure my lips are moisturized because this camera literally shows everything even with like the edit sometimes and i am using champagne toast nourishing lip mask from bath and body words i did a tiktok on it i also did an instagram reel on it and after i exfoliate my lips let me focus after I exfoliate my lips, I always put on lip mask. It just really helps with um, keeping my lips moisturized throughout the day because it is the winter time. Winter officially hit December the 21st. And so I like to keep my lips moisturized. For one, because they are just too big. But I want to show y'all some of the Christmas gifts that I got and like to talk about BCEP and the most common questions that I get asked in regards to BCEP and improving your GT score. If you have not watched my my last video I will link it down below on BCEP and how I achieved a 110 and if you go, go to my Instagram at amelia g5587 you will be able to see some of the testimonials that some of the soldiers you know DM'd me or inbox me or whatever the case in regards to improving their GT score and so we'll get started with some of the Christmas gifts that I received because today is Christmas so Merry Christmas um, also, I showed y'all my Yeti and I got my nameplate from off a TikTok shop and I got these little, I said charms from off a TikTok shop, which I linked in like two previous videos. And so I will link these um, as well, just so if you're interested, you can get you the same thing. Whew. And so let's make sure we are hydrating because in the winter time, you don't want to be dehydrated. It will cause your lips to be chapped and stuff as well. And so take care of yourself by drinking H2O. But yeah, make sure y'all drink some water and stay hydrated. So I feel like sometimes during Christmas when we go into stores, we see things that we like and we know that we need it. And so I'm going to just pretty much say the first few items that I'm going to show you all is items that I needed and that I purchased for myself. Ain't nothing wrong with getting yourself a gift here and there because you work hard for your coins. And so the first item I would like to show y'all is this USB port, or I don't know what it's called, but I will link it down below because it's on my Amazon storefront. And so I am using my Canon EOS R10 to record this video. And after about two or three hours of me recording, my battery go dead. And so I decided to get on Amazon and purchase me two extra batteries and it came with a USB uh, charger and you just plug it in and you put the two batteries on the inside of this. And so the batteries sit here and you charge them. And so now I have two additional backup batteries. 
And so they just sit here like this. And so now I have two additional backup batteries. And so just in case one goes dead, I am fully prepared, fully prepared to just pop in another one and continue with my vlogging. But I have noticed um, that over the course of the past few videos I have been trying to record, my battery will go dead. And then I also have a problem with turning my camera off, which I know that is my fault. But if you are a content creator or if you are creating reels, Instagram um, reels or TikToks or just taking pictures with your camera, then it would behoove you to get you an extra set of batteries. Again, I will link these down below. They are featured on my Amazon storefront. The next item I decided to get for myself was some makeup. You can never go wrong with makeup. And so I was in Sephora's and I picked up my homegirl some items and I decided to pick myself up some items as well because I just know I needed it. So the first item that I would like to show y'all is this translucent powder that came from one size. I had the mini travel size because I just wanted to try it and test it out and I absolutely love it. And so I decided to get myself some one size translucent powder. I also decided to get me the Fenty Match Stick in the color Truffle. And last but not least, I decided to get me some Fenty Mascara and it is called Hella Thick. honestly don't think there's nothing wrong with getting yourself something for Christmas especially if you know that you need it but so those are the items that I got for myself everything else that I'm going to show you uh are items that, items that people purchase for me and I will let y'all know okay so the first item I would like to show y'all is my new Apple watch so this Apple watch is broke the face of it um I think I was in the bathroom one day and it came off my arm and it just fell face flat and it cracked and I was just like I haven't had this watch for like three or four years I don't even know what series it is but I dropped it and it cracked and so so my husband got me this Apple watch and this is the color of it It says pink Al, like pink SBS slash MGPS. It is a nine series Apple Watch in the color of pink and then the wristband is pink as well. Okay, hey, next I would like to show y'all this Marc Jacobs in the scent of Perfect Perfume. And I'm going to take it out the bottle because, or out the box because it looks so pretty. Like the way that the bottle is shaped. It looks so pretty and it smells so good. So I went to Sephora's and I got a travel size. And so when someone asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I decided to let them know that I needed some Sephora's. Because my travel size one is like almost completely out and I just love the scent. The bottle is really, really cute. I'm going to try to get my lens to focus and so you can see it. But it has like a Domino's at the top, um, a star, a banana, and then it has some cherries and it smells really good. So if you are trying to figure out a new perfume, like a new scent, um, then I recommend the Marc Jacobs in the scent of Perfect. It smells really, really good. Next item I would like to show y'all, well, first of all, because we cannot forget. So this is my favorite place to go get coffee. And my husband got me this gift card from The Morning Jump. I go here literally every single day to get coffee. And I go here daily every morning before I go to work to get coffee from the morning jump and so when my husband asked me what I wanted for Christmas this was like the number one thing that I wanted because not because I don't like paying for my own coffee but I was like okay I got my soldiers gift cards and so I thought this would be a great idea and so he went to the morning jump and got me a $100 gift card so I'm gonna be good to go to the morning jump for at least like a month straight and then my birthday is coming up and I'm pretty sure I'm going to ask him to get me the same thing for my birthday so just keep in mind when people ask you what you want tell them that you want the things that you know you're going to like and the things that you are going to use because you don't want somebody to get you a gift and then you don't use it you don't like it you start feeling some type of way so when someone asks you what you want actually take the time to think about what it is that you want because you, you're going to like it you know for a fact you're going to use it and you don't want nobody wasting their money but my husband got me a gift card from the morning jump and I love the morning jump coffee and I will be going here daily um this gift card he put a hundred dollars on it and so when my birthday comes around I will be asking for the same thing because I just love the morning jump so the next thing that I want to show y'all is these charms that my friend and my son got me from Pandora I'm not sure if I'm holding the box up correct 
<laughs> but is a necklace and one is an actual charm to go around my bracelet i don't have my bracelet on right now but i think i posted it on a couple of my instagram posts and i'll end up probably making like a reel or something like that just to show y'all or a, a picture a updated picture to show y'all the things that i got added to my new charm bracelet from pandora but the first one i am going to show is an actual heart charm and it says family on it like my family and Jaden got me this. And the next item that I want to show y'all is this necklace that my homegirl got me in the color of rose gold. The next item that I got is in a big box and I'm going to try to fit not the entire box but the entire item inside this video. pretty sure if I take this out y'all are already going to know what color it is because y'all all should know what my favorite color is I feel like I post it or talk about it all the time on my Instagram and so it is a tap out purse and I'm pretty sure y'all can comment down below what color y'all think it is I'm not going to even take it out of the bag because I want y'all to guess Leave it in the comment section down below if y'all know what color Tefar purse this is because y'all should already know what my favorite color is and so I'm not going to even take it out of the bag. But my friend got me that and it was shipped to the house. I did not wrap it or anything like that. She already told me what it was and she told me what color it was which I was already under, under the assumption of what color it was because she know what my favorite color is. And then I'm going to show y'all, I, I don't know if this is like too much TMI, but I have some Lululemon. I did a Lululemon slash Sephora haul before. These feel really, really good. They're really, really soft. It reminds me of like the Skims fabric, but I feel like I like Lululemon better. Um, it's just something about Skims, I don't know. But the Lululemon, um, under ease underwear uh, my husband got them for me in the color of pink and I thought they were really really cute I already have some um, of these underwear but they're just not the same color and so I was very grateful for these because I just love the material and they feel really really good for the most part that was it I did get some items from other people like um, cash my mom gave me cash. Um, I still have some more gifts coming in that have not came in. I don't know if I'm going to show it to you once they come in or if I'll just link it down below. But like, for example, uh, Jaden got me um, a Tefar wallet to go with my purse. And then my husband got me some sneakers. And then I have like some other things coming in that I do not have. And so I don't want to, you know, basically ramble on and on about the things that I do not have. But they were Christmas gifts. They just did not come in time. My mother-in-law gave me some money as well. Um, and that was pretty much it. So I hope everyone enjoyed their Christmas. I enjoyed mine. And next we are going to go into talking about BSEP and the most commonly asked questions when it pertains to BSEP and getting over a 110. Alright, so now we are going to be talking about BSEP and the top three questions that everyone has been asking me in regards to BSEP. Only the top three. Now, if y'all feel like I should make a separate video and go down all of the questions that I get asked, then I can because I'm pretty sure y'all ask me the same questions. But I feel like out of the questions that I have been getting asked, these are the top three. Like, for example, a question that someone asks me all the time is, should I come to Fort Liberty, aka Fort Bragg? to take BSIP. That's a question, but I don't feel like that's one of the top three questions because I feel like regardless of where you go to take the BSIP class, you should put forth as much effort as you would put forth if you were to come to Fort Liberty, aka Fort Bragg. And I have a bad habit of saying aka Fort Bragg. I just feel like that base will always be known as Fort Bragg. And so I just have to say that even though the name of the post got updated and it changed to Fort Liberty, I still have to let people know like, hey, that is actually Fort Bragg. A lot of people don't know what Fort Liberty is or where Fort Liberty is located. And so I always just say AKA Fort Bragg. And so that was one of the examples that I gave y'all, but I have my phone because I want to go over the top three asked 
questions. I get this in my DMs as far as like TikTok, Instagram, and sometimes I just copy and paste the same answer um, because I feel like I answer it all the time. And so I don't know if I should do like an Instagram reel or like a TikTok on it, but here I am doing a whole full blog. And so if you want to know about, you know, BCEP and if you feel like you have one of the same questions or even more questions, then comment down below. And then also I will link the Quizlet words down below and I'm gonna try to figure out how I can like share the words without individually emailing them to every single person that asks me. So like sometimes I'll be busy, I'll be at meetings and someone will ask me to send them the list of the words and then I might forget because once I come out of that meeting, I have multiple people coming up to me like commanders or whoever and then I end up forgetting or I get sidetracked and then when I get home, I just be like, look, I cannot do anything in regards to work and granted BCEP does not have anything to do with work but mentally I feel like that is tied to the army and I just, forget because I have my kids and I have things that I'm doing at home and so like if you end up inboxing me I will forget Mom, hmm? I'm finishing you. okay so now we are going to talk about the top three questions that pertain to be said that I feel like everyone asks me and I'm not irritated I don't care like y'all are not bothering me please DM me email me whatever y'all need to do and if I do not send it to you within like a day or two then DM me again because like I said I get sidetracked I go to meetings I be busy and so I might forget so the first question is do I need to study all of these words and so when you ask me for the list of words to study there is going to be a lot it's like over a hundred words and so the question is do I need to study all of these I feel like that is a common sense answer and so I'm not trying to be mean but when I send you a list of words even if it was like 10, 15, 50 and 100 and you ask me do I need to study all of these words I'm gonna tell you every time yes like why would you not study all of them because let's just say there are only 16 questions on the test that pertains to word knowledge and so in regards to this question I am talking about the word knowledge section because the words you know study your words when you come to Fort Liberty you will have instructors that tell you hey study your words know your words study your words because guess what the words are double the points which means if you get all 16 right you're gonna have double the score that you would have if you didn't get all of them right if that made sense and so when someone when I send the list of words to somebody and they respond with, hey, chief, like, do I need to study all of these? Well, why wouldn't you? Like, would you only st study 50? Because out of the 50 that you study, let's just say those 50 are not on the test. Let's just say the other 50 are, you know, the ones that are on the test. And you have to pick and the computer picks those 16. So, like, if you only study in 50 of them and the 50 that you study is not the 16 that is on the test, then it's just going to be like, well, why would you not study all 100 words? And so to answer that question, the question was, do I need to study all of these words? The answer is yes. You just need to. Like, I don't just do it okay because you never know and my thing too with the words is when those words pop up on the screen because you will have 16 words right when those words pop up on the screen you need to be able to answer the question within like a few seconds and so for me when I went to BCEP I had the 30 day class I did the class in the mornings and then I would stay there in the afternoons and I would come home and study so when I took the test as soon as the word popped up on the screen I automatically knew what it was it didn't even take me two to three seconds to know what the answer was it took me literally a second and I looked at it and I said oh that's it oh that's it that's it I went through the word knowledge within like less than two minutes because that's just how much I studied those words because I just didn't I knew I wanted to get over a 110 I had been prepping to get a 110 for over two three years and this is something that I knew I wanted and it was in my career path to become a warrant officer and so in regards to the words the words are double the points and so study every single word that I send you study every single word that's linked down below in regards to the Quizlet because these words I don't know what installation you're going to be located at so I don't know and I don't even know what words will pop up on your test even if you are at Fort Bragg I don't know what words are going to pop up okay and so I can't sit here and tell you what oh out of all 100 words these 20 will be on like I don't know so study all of the words okay the next question is will I still get a 110 if I don't answer all 16 words correct 
I'm going to tell you no. And the reason why I'm going to tell you no is because the words are double the points. And so let's just say you don't get none of the words right and you suck at math and you can't comprehend a paragraph because you do have paragraph comprehension. How are you going to get a 110? If anything, your score may get lower. Like a lot of people, because I know I had like a 90, a lot of people have like 80s, 87s, 89s, 90s, 95s, 100s, and then they get it going there and they don't study like they're supposed to and then they think they're going to walk out of there with a 110. Whatever you did when you first took that test, I'm pretty sure you know the recruiter came to your house or you went to the recruiting station and you just took it or you took it when you was in high school, you didn't pay no attention, just like I did. I, did. I didn't know how valuable the score was until I you know, was up in ranks and I knew what I wanted to do within my career. So in regards to that, I would say no. If you don't study the words and you don't answer all 16 words correct I don't think you're going to get a 110 that's just my opinion I can't sit here and tell you like oh you absolutely not gonna get a 110 you may but I feel like if you do get the 110 it's because you knew everything in regards to the math and you knew everything in regards to the paragraph comprehension and even when it comes to the paragraph comprehension the paragraph comprehension is not you read in the paragraph and then you select in choice A through D like A, B, C, and D and it's like hey, out of this paragraph, what day did X, Y, and Z go to the bus station? And in that paragraph, you're going to see where it says that this, you know, X, Y, and Z went to the bus station on Tuesday. That's not the answer. Like, you have to comprehend what the paragraph is, you know, like what the question is to answer the question. Like, granted, yes, she went on this day but that's not what the paragraph or the question is asking you it's more so asking you like on this day she went here to go do x y and z it's not going to be like a a b c d and it's like oh she went on monday she went on tuesday she went on thursday she went on friday you have to comprehend what the paragraph is saying and then choose an answer if it was that easy everybody would have over a 110 and everybody don't have over a 110 and so in regards to not getting all 16 words correct i don't know if you're going to get a 110 i'm pretty sure you can but you have to know your math and you have to know your paragraph comprehension okay that was the second question. And the third question is, do I need to be concerned about the math and the paragraph comprehension? Yes, the answer is yes, you need to be concerned about it because let's just say you don't do or let's just say you don't get all 16 words correct and then you go in there and you don't know the math and you don't know the paragraph comprehension. Like what kind of score do you think you are going to get? I'm not sitting here telling you throughout this video to only study the words. I'm not sitting here t telling you like over out of all the words you need to know all 100. You do. You absolutely do. But you still need to take the time to study the math and the paragraph comprehension because you might be weak in one area and strong in another one. So let's just say you are strong in the paragraph comprehension, but you don't know math. And then let's just say you get some of the words incorrect. If you study every single word and the word pop up on the screen and you can answer it within the first few seconds, you know you got over a 110, okay? I am telling you. But if the words pop up on the screen and you are hesitant, you are reluctant, you don't know what the answer is, you are guessing because you're just like, oh man, my time is about to run out, then that means you did not study the words. You have to study those words until those words are glued into you. You know, like when we was in high school and we, you know, we go to college and we just, you know, do the bare minimum. You cannot do the bare minimum when it comes to studying to improve your GT score. It just will not work. It just won't happen. Trust and believe me. You know how um, our parents or our grandparents used to say back in the day because I did this and I went through this. I am telling you from experience, back though my grandma, my parents, all of them, they was right. I didn't even think they were right until I came into the situation. But I went to BCEP, I went to BCEP on more than one occasion. And the first time that I went, I wasn't studying like I should have. I was like, you know, still caring about people at work, texting me, emailing me. I still went in. I was still, you know, and that did not work for me because I didn't get a 110. I got a 109. I was so upset with myself. And then the second time I went back and I studied and I knew all the words and I was paying attention to the math and the instructor and I was comprehending what the question was asking me in regards to paragraph comprehension, I came out with a 123.
okay and so to answer that last question because I don't want to make this too long-winded and I don't want to hold y'all hostage but the last question was do I need to be concerned about the math and the paragraph comprehension and I will have to say yes you absolutely should be concerned and so I'm gonna go over these questions one last time do I need to study all of the words on the word sheet that my instructor gives me yes you should if you need the words let me know, send me a message, an email. And like I said, if I don't give it to you within the first day or two, then just email me again. But the links that I will leave down below will um, put you on the right track until I am able to send y'all those words. Um, if you ask for them and it takes me a few days. Uh, and it should be a Quizlet. My PBO NCO did it and he did really well. He got a 123 as well. Um, Sassar and Griffin, he just took the BSEP uh, class and I was, you know, talking to him throughout the entire class time that he went and he got a 125. And so he actually did better than us, okay? But yes, will I still get a 110 if I don't answer all 16 words correct? You may get a 110. But you have to make sure that you are studying the math and the paragraph comprehension. So to answer that question, yes, you may, but it's not a guarantee because the words are doubled. The math and the paragraph comprehension are not double the points, okay? So let's just say you have like, I don't know how many, 10 questions in the math and then 10 questions on the paragraph comprehension and then 16 on the word knowledge. If you don't get all of them right within the paragraph comprehension and the math, at least you know that you need to get all 16 right on the paragraph on the word knowledge because you'll have double points and lastly do I need to be concerned about the math and the paragraph comprehension and I would just like to say yes you should and so that was pretty much it I wanted to show y'all everything that I got for Christmas I hope everybody enjoyed their holidays um I'm sorry I'm getting on here looking a little rugged you know but I'm at home I'm chilling I got on a hoodie I'm about to go eat because at this point I'm starving I will also link down um the my 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 stanley cup like accessories down in the description box below and i will also link down the quizlet links in regards to the words that y'all need to be studying just in case i am not able to respond to you in a timely manner but that was pretty much it for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed it until next time peace